hey, 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 breaking news, my people. I don't come again as I did come. Oh, hey, I don't bring another who go and get news for now. Like, hey, hey, oh my God, this is funny. When they say wonder, 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 this one I wonder, like first time in history, what is happening in this country? It just seem as if, you know, tides are changing, things are changing. The other day, it was the EFCC chairman that was sentenced to Kuje prison because he disobeyed a court order. Today, we are now seeing the Inspector General of Police is also being sentenced to three months in prison for also disobeying a court order. Gone are the days when, you know, there will be a standing court order. And these high-ranking officials, these high-ranking people just feel as if they are above the law, like the law is, now, is not meant for them. They just ignore the ruling and do as they, they please. Now, these judges are trying to prove to them that, look, no matter how big you are, no matter your stature, no matter your office, no matter your position, you are not bigger than a court ruling. You should do as a court ruling. We know that, you know, at the back of our minds, we know that these uh, high-ranking officials like just as the way they said the efcc was supposed to be you know uh, remanded in Kujie prison at last it wasn't remanded but at least that court ruling pushed him to do the need for we all know that at the back of our minds that he's not going to be you know truly arrested but this court order is just to push these people to do what is right push them to do you know the right thing to do the ideal thing this is what this court order is meant for let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't give this video a massive thumbs up without further ado let's dive straight into the details of today's news the federal high court sitting in abuja on tuesday sentenced the inspector general of police usman Alkali baba to three months in prison for disobeying a valid court order the court in a ruling that was delivered by justice mo or Lajuan, held that igp should be committed to prison and detained in custody for a period of three months or until he obeys an order it's made since october 21 2011 wow since 2011 hmm. If at the end of three months that container remains recalcitrant and still refuses to purge his contempt, he shall be committed to another period and until he purges his contempt, the court held. The IGP's committal followed a suit that was filed by a police officer, Mr. Patrick Okoli who was unlawfully and compulsorily retired from the Nigerian police force. Justice Olajuwon noted that, though the Police Service Commission, PSC, recommended Okoli's reinstatement into the police, a decision that was affirmed by the court, the IGP refused to comply with the order. The court had also ordered the payment of 10 million naira to the applicant, being special and general damages for the unlawful, illegal and unconstitutional denial of his rights and privileges as a senior officer of a Nigerian police force from 1993 till date. Wow. Hmm. These are the things that we want to you know be seen in nigeria these are the things that we've been clamoring for equal rights before the law no preferential treatment like why will there be a standing order in court since 2011 and the inspector general of police refuses to honor this order like how why if not that we are in a country such as nigeria this it's only in nigeria that this kind of contempt prevails it's only in nigeria that this kind of contempt would just go on and on just like that i applaud this judge like even the judge that uh made the order for the efcc chairman to be arrested i think some few weeks ago i give the both of them like applaud they these are the things we want to suggest you just continue doing this because it is high time that these people realize that 
they are not bigger than the law there is no preferential treatment where the law is like everybody is equal before the law if you feel you are you you are special what will a common man like you and you and i what what are we going to do if these people believe that they are special like the law does not apply to them it means they are just going to continue doing it and getting away with it it's just not fair this man was was true was treated badly he was sacked from the police force and the court is saying reinstate this man give him his privileges pay for damages for everything you've done pay this man it deserves it a standing court order at that and the igp just you know turned a bland eye and just you know refuses to honor the court order and this man has been i am very sure that this man would have been waiting you know for them to reinstate him since 2011 that's like how many years ago now how many years ago over five years ago you can imagine you can imagine this it's just i'm just so happy you know at least if eventually he doesn't go to prison which we all know that he would not go to prison we are in nigeria of course but at least he will know that this is a stain to his name this is a stain you know to the police force entirely like to the entirety of a police force itself so this would this would just like give them a push to do what is right like to just push them to you know do what they are supposed to do you get me he's not going to go into prison we all know that but at least this would you know nudge him in the right direction like they say let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe in the comments leave your comments intelligently no insults in the comment section guys subscribe if you haven't give this video a massive thumbs up let me know what you all think in the comment section do you think he's actually good to, going to go to three months imprisonment or do you think he's going to actually spend three months in prison or do you think that is he, this is just a nudge in the right direction and he's going to eventually do what is right and he's not going to go close to prison let me know what you all think in the comment section i will see you in my next video guys bye for now